Hi there, quick update preview. House of the Dragon's official social media channels just released a new wave of character posters, and more importantly announced that tomorrow, Thursday, March 21st, they are going to release a full trailer for House of the Dragon. What we got December 2nd was a teaser trailer, and it mostly just re-established characters we already knew. This is going to show a lot more material, probably the new characters, we're really excited for this. We'd been anticipating this for about a week once we found out that Max has this big upfront presentation uh, run by the head of the video game department, J.B. Perret. But he said, I'm going to be showing trailers for a couple of things, such as, as the new Dune show, a couple other things. But we were hoping for this, and we thought, well, maybe it'll just be character posters. Maybe it'll just be a second teaser, maybe with new characters. They said, full trailer, they're going all out for this. So, all wings report in, all hands on deck, tomorrow is the trailer. The rest is just an update for my channel here, that um, I have been doing setup work for criticizing Benny Weiss's big three-body problem show on Netflix, which they have hyped up as their comeback. And the way I'm doing this is based on the advanced reviews. I made four audio-only videos split up by topic, because they'll flow quicker and because it's coming out tomorrow. And each one is like a page and a half script. I did script them, so I'm going to dash that off this afternoon. What this means that we are getting a trailer tomorrow is I won't be able to review Three Body Problem by the weekend. That This takes precedence over that. So, you know, it's only eight hours. I'm just going to marathon. I'm not really paying that much attention. to. I'm not going to rewind or anything to analyze. I'm just going to watch it straight. That is probably going to come weekend after this weekend, because so much was already covered in the advanced reviews. And I would be talking about specific after-action things, because they said, well, it isn't that different, but look at this. This is where they're having the, the actors stare at the camera, because they think that's what drama is with no dialogue, or this is something they did that was needlessly expensive, like in the VR scenes. I've, I've made my other videos before this going, they are throwing money at the screen, thinking that equals story quality, and like, you could have done this on a shoestring budget, the Tencent version did. So, I have almost caught up on my to-do list, just as Three Body Problem and this trailer are coming out. But I'm nearly done. And other things I folded into that, because another thing is, the panel that they're presenting these trailers at tomorrow, Max, Warner Discovery is also going to be giving a lot of industry news about things like, uh, further international expansion for the Mac streaming service, some other state of the industry things. I'm going to try to quickly cover that by the end of this weekend, by Sunday. On my to-do list, there's this state of the industry Max expansion thing. Trailer breakdown will be the big thing happening starting tomorrow and through the weekend, and I have pushed actually watching Three Body Problem to next... I'll watch it through the week, make the report next weekend, but please check out, I have these things based on the advanced reviews coming from screeners that came out. The one thing I want to leave you with is, there can be no accident that HBO chose to put out the big first full trailer for House of the Dragon, as well as their other projects, the same day that Netflix's big project that they bet the farm on, Three Body Problem, comes out. They're trying to steal the thunder of the, the, the hype from that. They're trying to, to mute it, which is hilarious. That, dude, you screwed over our channel. Our Warner Discovery was screwed over by Benny Offenweiss. That they wanted to leave early, salted the earth behind them by rushing it so much this was considered a dead franchise. They had to work really hard to resurrect. And it's it always struck me as so weird when Benny Offenweiss were above criticism at the peak of Game of Thrones, even from their competitors, like Disney and Netflix people you'd think would be criticizing them as the, and it was, well, no, because they could work for us next year. And it's increasingly people are realizing, no, these are rivals. They have no reason to butter them up anymore, to play nice like that. It's, no, we are competing. So... You're putting out your big, much-hyped, into one-day release. They're releasing it with a binge model, which more than one reviewer said probably wasn't a good idea for a mystery show like this. That they're dumping every episode tomorrow, Thursday, 
So, cynically, HBO and Max decided to put out all of their trailers for their new stuff tomorrow. Same time, and this will be... Case in point, I'm reporting on that trailer more than I am Three Body Problem. And it'll be interesting to see, because no one knows, I don't know, will Three Body Problem nonetheless manage to be the buzzworthy news of the next month, or the news cycle? Uh, what they call the zeitgeist. Will this be the thing everyone's talking about? Or, as the advanced reviews say, it's kind of boring and slow, and the characters they made aren't really that memorable, and people just forget about it a month from now, because we're gearing up for House of the Dragon. That is hilarious. I mean, if nothing else, because House of the Dragon trailer is coming tomorrow, but uh, the show itself won't until probably last week of June. One month from now, a month from Friday, Amazon is putting out their big adaptation installment of Fallout, this big live-action Fallout TV series. The trailers and preview clips look very good, or at least, even if it's not you know, meeting the standards of the video game fans, it looks impressive enough People are going to be talking about Fallout a lot more than they're talking about this, because if anything, your review said it's kind of formulaic, it feels like an X-Files knockoff, versus purely from set design, Fallout looks like eye candy and something people are going to be paying more attention to. So my prediction, or at least hope, is, you know, like, a month from now when Fallout comes out, people won't even remember Three Body Problem. But we will be getting increasing trailers and, and promos and clips for House of the Dragon Season 2 to look forward to. Obviously, the weekend that Fallout comes out, we're going to be talking about that more than House of the Dragon because it hasn't come out yet. But just, they're releasing the full trailer the exact same day that Netflix is releasing Three Body Problem. And it's going to... It's you don't deserve to. No, this is going to be when we, we reclaim our position as the big hype thing. And I've even seen people trying to backtrack that you're making a false comparison. Oh no, no, it's meant to be a a niche sci-fi, hard sci-fi show. It wasn't meant to be the next Game of Thrones, as Entertainment Weekly pointed out, and many other news outlets. Benioff and Weiss themselves, Netflix itself, was inviting these comparisons that this would be the next big Game of Thrones scale show. And they spent so much money on it, as much as House of the Dragon, that it needs to be the next big flagship show that captures the national zeitgeist to be considered a success. They set the bar too high. So I'm making these four audio-only preview videos. It's one, like an hour video split up in four parts. And I'm probably going to get to that next week. And starting tomorrow, we're in trailer mode, because I've caught up on everything else except that.